I think he actually used it. Uh, he dodged his use ulti as well. Oh, forced out BKB. Fata, out. No, the Hex! Fata gets caught! Oh no, he can't go down here. Yep. He dies so quick, he looks like a support. That's a 2,000 HP Brewmaster, by the way, and he dies insanely fast. Yeah, no and buyback this time, now. he does not have buyout. Big punishment time here for C9. I don't think Cloud9's team fight is nearly as good as Game 1. So, nor do they have a similar level of initiation. I'm not sure how they're going to take this fight. All right, so just as something to point out before this fight happens or before the push continues is Zai has higher net worth than Envy. Yeah. I mean, he's right, coming to It's going to go on PPD, but the same result, man. The song's going to come out here. Storm is going to slip on Envy. Envy's dead. He does have five out Khan, and he's going to use it right here. Death Ward's going to come out, and it's bouncing. Okay. It's bouncing on everything. I mean, Envy bought back, but it's dying as quickly as he just came back. That's game. Yeah, that is game right there. Nothing really to do. No buyback on anyone on the side of C9. PG. 22 to 8 is the score right now. C9 still not tapping out, but they're losing mid racks. Well, they haven't GG just yet. They do have a tier 2 in the bottom lane. Yeah. But I think it's fair to say that uh, they even. Oh man. I don't know. What What do you do if you're Cloud9? I mean, Zai is just farming here in their base still. He doesn't care. He's, He's like, got 4,000 more net worth than Envy does. Yeah, man. Zai, what a player. I mean, of course, it's a transition into a one roll, so it's obvious that he would have farm, but it just... The Spectre, for me, I didn't like it from the start, just because of how easy it is to punish the hero. And I think that EG have done an amazing job at doing just that. I just don't think it synergizes that well with the, the Lion Zeus. Like, you need real babysitting heroes. You need Skywrath, you need to secure a complete free farm and have that really early, maybe even Vanguard face boots into a Radiance. In this game, it was a struggle all along. And they died a lot on top lane to Universe and Zai. Yeah, I think whatever the result of this game is, like if C9 makes a miraculous comeback, great. But if not, C9 needs to go into game three and say, we need supports that don't automatically concede the lane. Yeah. Oh. Zeus, strong mid game, great. But it doesn't matter when you go into the mid game with a 5k deficit. They're also going in for the double Lincolns once again. Luxury items for Puck and Storm. And here we see. One desperate move. I mean, they, they easy knows, yeah. right? They're, they're they have a ward in their base. It didn't reveal the smoke, but they also see that no one is showing. So There's no one defending the bottom tier, too. Yeah, like, it's, it's, <laughs> just look at EG's positioning. There's the... Okay. Okay. Might work against uh, another team, but EG is uh, completely aware of this. But it's also... Yeah, okay. Okay, point seven. Yeah, his team is also not behind him, so... Not a really well coordinated yeah. gank. Twilight Eye's gonna come in. He dies very quickly. The Han's gonna be used here, but I mean, this is a Spectre that doesn't do enough damage. Arteezy's pulling him around. GG's called. G Two game for Cloud9. For EG. For EG. <laughs> for EG. Zero to your Cloud9. All right, so very similar right now to how Cloud9 were playing against VP. They gave up two games very quickly. Are they going to be able to do the same thing against EG and win three in a row? That's the question. No, I, man. They will win one and then lose. I, I think the this. difference is that against the VP, the, those two games, it wasn't even their game. They didn't even play well in those games. So they know they could play better.